at the very least in terms of uh, post 9-11 context in Europe, this is the first time that France has really suffered uh, things that has been witnessed in Britain, and of course in Madrid and elsewhere. Um, so in, in one sense, I, I can imagine that the French populace felt much the same way as residents and citizens in Britain in 2005, which is feeling that to some extent, and again I really need to stress it's early days in terms of our understanding of this, but what looks like might be homegrown <laughs> terrorism uh, rearing its very ugly head in France. Now I, I think it's also incumbent to, to, to say that terrorism is a tactic. It is not something that is just associated with one group. And in the same way as someone, uh, other persons of faith who might be Christians, don't share the responsibility for Anders Bering Breivik's appalling acts in Norway, so too can we say about the Muslim minority in Europe who very clearly, very vociferously uh, 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 rejected, separated themselves from these events. And I think that needs to be said and I also think their voices need to be amplified by all citizens of goodwill right across Europe. That being said, what some of our findings at the center I'll uh, say a little bit about uh, in a few moments has really kind of focused on is the way in which extremist groups who have these very diametrically opposed narratives in a sense rely upon each other so that we might find uh, extremists in France, right-wing extremists in France, saying this isn't the act of jihadi Islamists, this is the real or genuine face of Islam. And so we've seen in the six days, really, since this attack, less than six days since this attack, just a couple of figures here that, that I hope will put some, some, some flesh on this. We've seen attacks in fully 13 cities across France in the wake of the attacks in Paris, Fully 17 mosques uh, have been attacked, and that ranges from uh, pig's heads, bacon, and so forth left outside of mosques, right the way through to explosives, gunfire, and uh, uh, grenades. So we see the, uh, uh, and again, I don't want to suggest that this is unimportant, but the, 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 the more minor side of these attacks in terms of graffiti, right the way up to assaults on children in the French Alps. Okay? And we, insofar as our very early model of cumulative extremism suggests that in the wake of a terrorist attack we can see a real spike in these, these cumulative extremist actions, it seems like this is something that is still unfurling in France and unfortunately there may still be a ways to go yet before France reaches its equilibrium again.